but I was significantly bigger. Um, you can see it all in my face, my arms, especially my back and my stomach. So hey you guys, this is Glamazon Tay. I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be my BBL update. This is my four year update and probably my final, definitely my final update of my BBL. And the reason I'm doing this is because you guys, I got some things coming up. So I definitely wanted to make sure that you guys see my body and what the form it is now. So before it goes to another space, so it looks a little different. This is the like update, the finale. I'm gonna tell you pretty much a lot of information of how I feel about my BBL, the things that have happened. I did do another BBL update like a while ago. Um, I think it was like two years ago, a year ago, something like that. But you know, this most likely will be my final update for just my BBL. Just hands on. So if you guys are new here and did not know, I got my BBL done back in July, 2018, done by Dr. Fisher. Um, this BBL is like I said, my four year anniversary. So I think most likely that's probably why I'm doing it in July because it is like the fourth year. And um, with my BBL, I think, I believe if I remember correctly, I, I got lipo pull from six different parts of my body. I got it done for my belly button, my back, and then three areas on my stomach. And I believe it's one more area on my back, but if it's not, it's like five. Um, so yeah. So first things first, for you guys that are not really familiar, basically with the BBL, I ended up getting areas of fat taken from you know my body and then placed into my hips area and my butt. I got it done by Dr. Fisher um, in Miami. He was at the clinic Joe Lay Plastic Surgery, but now he has his own practice, which I think is pretty amazing because um, he is a really, really good doctor, but the practice or the facility that he was at, I told you guys before, I did not like them at all. They just didn't have good energy. And also they often have a lot of bad reviews just the facility and how they treat people and certain things they do and they be having certain deaths a lot of deaths so they'll like remodel the they'll remodel the clinic and change it into another name and you know so even right now i'm not even familiar if, if it's still jole plastic surgery if it's not i'll update the name here because i don't really keep up with them um, but I told you guys my experience on them, but nonetheless, Dr. Fisher as a doctor on his own was really, really good to me and I really loved it. So once they pulled from the five different areas of me, and like I said, it was one in my belly button, three areas down here in like my stomach area, the bottom of it, and then also in my back. It's five more incisions in my butt area. So it's two at the top, two at the bottom, and then one in the middle of my butt. When I first got my body done, and I'm gonna show y'all the before, because before I got my body done, I had found on my flash drive this old picture, like I had found a, I think an SD card or flash drive of my body. I did a trial haul, but I don't think I ever released a trial haul. I don't know why, but I was significantly bigger. Um, you can see it all in my face, my arms, especially my back and my stomach. I had a little bit of butt, but it wasn't as rounded clearly. Um, but my, I was a little hefty. I believe that I was at, okay. So before, when I noticed that I was getting a little bit bigger, I was about 185 to 90 pounds. And then I started working out with the trainer and I got down to about 180 pounds. And that's what's how, that's the way I was when I went to go get my surgery done. And then I went down to, after being on the surgery table from them taking the fat and putting it other places, I went down to 170. Then I went down to 165. And then I just started losing weight like crazy. Like when I was in my healing process, like within that first three to four months, I wasn't eating like that. I was kind of, um, eating really healthy. I think my body was in shock. So I had went down, my lowest has been 150, 
back then around that whole six month period it was pretty crazy like i said i did a video update on that so if you guys want to check that out if i can find it if it's still up then i will um go ahead because y'all know they flag a lot of my stuff on here because i show it so graphically um but it also is a video up of my surgery as well if you want to check that out with dr fisher and you actually can see me on the table blood and all like it's just crazy but it was a really really good video so my weight fluctuated from there so i had probably started off at 185 and then you know took it down my current weight right now is about 155 156 um but i do have a trainer now and i work out a lot more I told you guys when i first got off the table i automatically had abs you guys know that you can get abs put into your stomach pretty much or they can sculpt it so that it appears that you have abs i didn't get that my body i think because he really just sucked the fat out of me went down to abs and i automatically had abs and i will show you guys that picture it was pretty crazy i look really muscled up i still was swollen in this picture but you could just see the transformation um within my body it was like crazy and you know once i went through that i didn't work out i didn't do really anything my body just kind of i went on about my life just eating normal regular so i did start gaining um weight but i will say throughout me gaining weight it was like my body still kept its shape it just was getting bigger um the only thing that was a little bit different was my butt the projection of my butt did kind of decrease well it wasn't no kind of it decreased down um but of course if you're putting fat back there and it's up over time it's gonna droop and let me rephrase that over time it's going to kind of settle in so it's gonna go down um my butt isn't droopy at all but it just isn't on my back as high as it was before but i'm okay with my butt like i like the way it is i don't have a shelf booty to me um but i don't it didn't just stay as a shelf but i also know that it's been years out and you know i've been sitting on my butt all kinds of different things but it still contained a great shape and also all the fat that was in my hip areas and my butt, it kind of dissolved. 70% um, of the fat they transfer into your butt actually survives and then the rest, you know, dissolves as it's settling into place. My body now, I want you to say, is very, it's kind of getting to be, it's still like curvy, but it's starting to shape up into a muscular body. Not athletically muscular like visual, but I can just tell and feel it because I do work out now. So I work out about three to four times a week um, with a trainer. So, you know, my shape is settling into being more tighter and fit. But like I said, my body is very fit now. If you guys can see like my arms, are freaking crazy i really haven't taken time to look at them to be honest so i'm looking at them in my viewfinder but yes baby i promise y'all when i work out i really work out um my butt still looks great because i do a lot of booty workouts and you know i do work out as hard as i do i just started working out within the last three months um so i do see a transition i personally wanted that at first that like curvature cokey bottle type of body but with dr fisher he doesn't normally do that he does more of a natural realistic shape um it's def if you want that that's fine with me i think now i'm still in that mood of wanting to shape my body and sculpt it so that's why i'm in i am working out but part of me i'm not gonna lie does desire to have a little bit more hips overall i'm like really happy with the shape that my body is getting and i don't even want it to be as dramatic as i wanted before because before i wanted it to be so dramatic um i definitely think with me just getting older and just really kind of embracing my body more now that i am happy with the shape that my body is going into i think that i just sometimes know that i feel like i would look a little better with like a little bit more hip but as far as my butt that thing is stinking like I, it looks good it's really pretty jiggly i get a lot of compliments on it and when i move and dance as you guys can see it jiggles it works it's 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 i'm throwing that thing around like it's mine like i mean clearly it is mine though because it is my fat that's just been transferred now i do want to talk about my incisions so over time with my incisions they have healed up 
um, fairly well. Um, but some of them are not, I thought over time they would get a lot more better, but it is, I guess it is just how it is. But you know, I believe I can get certain surgeries or procedures done to lighten them up. I'm going to look into that. So I want to talk about my incisions just so you guys are really familiar on what the incisions give. So the incisions inside of my belly button, they actually are turning to be my color. They're fairly changing because when they first started, they were darker. Um, and I have keloid skin. Like my skin is very prone to getting keloids. I don't, it's just how me, I am and my brother is. Like my brother had even got one on his ear from an earring, I believe, and he had to get it removed. And he doesn't have them anymore. But then with me, like I have like little ones that's on my ear, but it's always been like that. And I know we got this trait from my mom, but she doesn't have any. But my skin has that thing of like, if I get a scratch or a whelp, it's going to kind of risen in, it's gonna like, you're gonna be able to see it. It's not gonna stay this smooth surface on your skin. So with the ones in my belly button, they did do like small ones, but I wasn't tripping about that. I think it was just the way it's the belly button, the way it's shaped, and it's just a little bubble, but you can't see it. Before I got my body done though, I did have a um, belly button ring. So I think that also has something to do with it. The skin down there was kind of tough. So with those incisions, I will show you guys what they look like. Um, but they're starting to turn to my color and I do wash my belly button quite often So I don't know if that got something to do with it or whatever, but it is starting to change to my color um, But I'm fairly happy with it You know, you really can't see it anyway So it's not like one of them things where you can see it and I have a bikini on at all um, Far as my other incisions down here. So I do have the one that what was so I had three down here, but I had one that was for my drain. Number one, it wasn't, it was a tube hanging out of my body. So it was like, this was the circular tube that was draining all the fluids and extra stuff. So it was kind of moving. They did stitch it to stay in, but it was partly in, partly out. Um, and that's just kind of how that was. It has lightened. It is not as dark as it was. So, you know, I'm not really tripping on it. I do want it to be a lot more lighter. So I've started kind of bleaching it and stuff, but it's not one of the things where I'm like very insecure about it. Like, I don't want nobody to see it. That does, it's not, I sometimes, a lot of times even forget about it. And then the one in the middle, it healed up really nicely. It went back to my skin tone. And then the one on the side, you can see it. It's really, really small, but it's just like a lighter brown color. And then the one on my back, it actually healed perfectly. You can't see it, it's flat. It doesn't even look like I had anything done. Some people get incisions, you can see them, and some people don't get incisions and you don't see them at all. And with me, the one on my back, it healed like perfectly. So if all of them had healed like that, honestly, I think I would have went and got surgery a lot more faster. Cause I do want to get a second round. I think part of me, I keep saying I do, but I don't, I probably don't even have enough fat to honestly get another round unless I do it like a skinny one or it would just have to be something. But this is my own personal preference. So I understand if you guys don't um, agree. I understand if you don't think I should, but at the end of the day, it's my body, my money and my stuff. So, um, but I only, one thing that really held me back was because of my incision scars. Cause I'm like, bitch, I want them to heal up like perfectly. Oops, I got a little thing. But I want them to like heal up perfect. Like, you know, I don't want all these different scars on me, but they're not, the ones I have, I've gotten accustomed to them cause I've had them for over the last four years. But I feel like I just want to make sure that um, I'm not just marking my body up all over. So the ones that they actually had to, they made to put the fat back into my butt, those ones are little dots and you can see them. They're darker and they're smaller, but they haven't healed as good as all the other ones or they haven't healed as seamless. Um, so I believe I might can bleach them or something but you know, they're still there. But after four years, my butt has still kept its shape. It still kept its form to it. It just is not as um, projected as I said. And it's also a lot more jigglier and a lot more softer. Um, but when I do the Stairmaster and workout, it does project my butt up and it's definitely like giving push and pee. Now, um, far as all the lipoed areas, I will say that before I got my BBL, I was able to do 
um, a lot more physical activities differently. Maybe I was a lot allowed to go a lot more harder or I was allowed to, not allowed, but it felt like I could put a lot more work in. But now I don't feel like I can, I go hard in the gym, but I feel like I don't feel like my body is the same like you know how some people say after you have a baby your body is different but you don't know how to explain it, but it is but that's how my body is with my bbl overall basically i just want to say that i really am happy that I ended up getting a bbl i feel like it was worth it for me it gave me a great foundation and base off something to work on um with me not really working out except for the last three months my body has held up fairly well but i also don't eat very crazy at all i've seen a lot of people who get bbl i guess it just depends on your metabolism because my body really didn't fluctuate and change that bad um my body didn't change and fluctuate it was like i grabbed uh, extra pounds but as soon as i would lose weight my body would still go back into its form that was the whole main purpose for me is because i wanted some shape in my butt but i really want y'all to see these clips of me like i just couldn't believe it i probably do a voiceover when i clip these in or not but my body has changed so freaking much and i didn't realize i was so much of a staple in the bbl community especially with like natural bbls because um so many people just follow me off my BBL journey or just watched me because of that or got their BBL done at Dr. Fisher's because of that. Just all the clients and patients that they gotten after me. It's just so crazy, but I'm just so thankful. And I know with me, I had seen it off of Aaliyah's face that went first before me and also, um, um, she, somebody else got their BBL done before me as well. So, you know, I went, seen them and I got my done and then y'all see me and a lot of y'all went because of me and I'm so appreciative, but I love my body. I love the way it looks. I just feel like it's certain things that, you know, us women want to tweak and, you know, but it's also I'm in a space where I'm happy enough that if my body isn't tweaked, I'm still going to be okay. And um, with my BBL, with my body, like I, I guess as I'm getting older, I can just appreciate my shape more of just having this skinnier toned body, which I do love. Cause at one point I wanted my body to get this. And then I also want you guys to realize like a lot of people still is photoshopping their bodies on social media and doing little things. So a lot of these exaggerated looks we see isn't even their exaggerated body, which is crazy, but it's the truth. So, you know, I definitely want to give y'all a little of my body. So I'm going to quit talking, but yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in my next one. If you guys have any questions, comment them below and I will answer them in the comment section because I doubt that I will make any more videos about my BBL. I doubt I will, but if I do, you know, I'll let you know.